Okay, hi everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I didn't have enough time to really test the uh, recording or anything, so I'm hoping that this is all working okay. Um, yes, it is Friday. I am Eugene Myers. Um, I write young adult science fiction fantasy as EC Myers. I play NES games as me. Um, and tonight we have Athena, uh, which the game cartridge says is a number one bestseller in Japan. Um, so under, for some reason that made me think that it was a good game, uh, when I picked this up, uh, back in the day. Um, so I've only really played a little bit of this and I remember the controls being kind of janky. So I, I don't think I stuck with it very, very long. Um, but we're going to see how far we can get in it tonight. Um, so here we go. It's also, I don't know if you guys, hey, Steven, you got your beer? Um, if anybody has a copy of this game on um, on the NES, like a cartridge, let me know. I When I played it, when I put it in my system and tested it out, it acts, it acts really strange. Like it acts differently from almost any other, other Nintendo game that I have. Like I put the cartridge in, I pressed the power button um, and I got a gray screen. And um, I had to clean it. I cleaned it really well. And I kept getting the gray, gray screen, but the gray screen's only up for like one second and then the game starts. But I've never seen that delay with any other Nintendo cartridge. So I don't know if it's my cartridge going bad or if it's the way the thing was coded or, or whatnot. I have no idea. But uh, anyway, so here we go. Uh, are the Steven says it looks pretty. Do you mean... Oh, yeah, it's the Psycho Power. Is it the game that looks pretty, or is it Athena that looks pretty? Do you have a crush on Athena? Uh, as, what's her name? Athena Atsumi? Anyway. Uh, yeah, Stephen has enlightened me this week that um, Athena, who's wearing this uh, bikini on the uh, Famicom cartridge and on the title screen here, um, apparently, I didn't know this, she's like a major character for SNK. She appears in a bunch of their um, fighting games. It's also interesting, this like weird tile thing. I noticed um, a Steinex also does that. And um, and Super Mario Bros. 3 in the Japanese version does that. It's just this weird title um, thing that they do. All right, so World of Forest. Yeah, this is weird jumping going on here. Huh, all right. You can kick. And I picked up, I don't know what that is. And that's like a pipe? I have no idea. Oh, that's a hammer, I think. So yeah, apparently this character, um, she turns up in a bunch of different things. Her jumping, this is the strangest thing I've never... What is that? Is that bad? Is that good? I've never played a game where, like, the way you jump changes depending on, like, how many times you've jumped. So like her first jump is short and then the next jump is long and then the next jump is long and then short, long, long. Like, what is that? Uh, so Steven says, oh, she's not my type, yo. Um, her present day descendant is a major character in the King of Fighters games. Yeah. Oh, so he said, so it's like Adventure Island Light. It does kind of look that way, doesn't it? We'll see. I had to pause there because I wanted to read the uh, comments, but there's a timer. All right, so I can climb down here. Oh, I can break these. So yeah, apparently this game is really, um, hey, I've got like boots or something. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I haven't seen that in many um, NES games to this point where your character's um, appearance changes. Um, I mean, that's more of like a Mario th 3 thing, but it's like she's kind of upgrading her, um, her gear. What the heck? Ah, they just keep coming. Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. I guess that's health. Oh, ah, whoa, what? What just happened there? Oh, I died. Oh my goodness, that was, that was pretty alarming. Uh, triple jump, yeah. Well... I don't know, the triple jump in Mario 64 is a little different. Um, I mean, you're sort of expecting that. 
or because this isn't even consecutive. It's just I could jump and then just keep walking, I think, and then the next jump would be different from the way it was before. Uh, it says this feels like Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout with that horrific scroll scrolling effect. Okay. Oh, all right. See? Oh. Or maybe it is like Mario 64. Huh. All right. Well, I don't know. That looked a little glitchy. I don't know what happened there. So like I said, I don't know if um, the game will have any issues because there might be something going on with the uh, the pins or the, the, the motherboard or something. Anyway, this is probably the longest I've played this game. I remember playing this once before with my friend Dan um, and, you know... I think he was, like, personally offended that I, I even put the game in because we started playing and it was just really bad. Horse people. Hey, I got a sword now. That's nice. And then there's these mushrooms. So yeah, this is um, I guess this is based on an arcade game, or it's a it's a it's a port of an arcade game, and I don't know if the arcade game is supposed to be any better, but I mean, you know what? This is not quite as hateful as um, Amagon yet. It's um, it's not good, but so I can climb down here, and I can sort of break that. Interesting. How do I... How do I do that? I don't know how to... Hmm. Climb down here. Yeah, this is really not feeling good. Oh, that looks bad. I'm not gonna... No, that, I'm not even gonna figure out... Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was. And then that's kind of it. All right, great. Let's see what's down here. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Did you say I can downstab? Those are bad, right? Those things? Oh yeah, you can't downstab like in Zelda. Grimace. <laughs> I think, um, actually I looked at the manual and I think one of these guys that looks like Grimace um, is named Joss. For some reason. I don't know why. This is really strange. So I can't get down there. Wow, that's... yeah, hmm. Ah, okay. I guess I'm supposed to go down here. Whoa. Really? That killed me pretty quickly. Hmm. Huh. I guess you don't get... invincibility. Oh, I was running low on time. Okay, thanks, Steven. Yeah, I died anyway, so I'm just gonna... I'm just going to push on. It's also kind of unusual to see a timer listing actual minutes and seconds. So, yep. Anyway, here we are on Friday. It was, yeah, this week was really, really busy. And, um, this is like, I didn't really get the game much at all this week, so I've definitely been looking forward to this. Um, I think I played like three minutes of Battle Kid yesterday because I just got the cartridge and, um, wanted to make sure that it was working properly. And I will definitely be streaming that at some point in the future. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, whoa, what? Whoa. I don't know how that happened, but I am very pleased 
This is a very awesome weapon. Oh, it's temporary though. And now I'm shooting lasers? What? I don't even understand what's happening here. Oh gosh. Thing chasing me. Holy cow. I don't even know what just happened, but I like it. Lasers are good. Oh, so anyway, I was going to say, um, to your point or your comment about um, Zelda 2, I saw some somebody claiming that this game has the same engine that Zelda 2 is based on. But then I saw them say that about some other game um, as well. And that seems weird to me that that would be the case when this isn't a Nintendo game. Or at least not a first-party Nintendo game. She'll let you... What is she even... She's got, like, a shield. And... Wait, I can't scroll back? That's kind of annoying. So that's what's, what the problem has been. I've been um, scrolling too far over, and then I can't get back over to the... to the side. So maybe this game is full of secrets? Is there a wall meet? Is that an entrance to something? Can I go over there? Oh, I created an entrance for enemies. Great. Great. So I forget what the deal is with this character. She's a goddess. Um, like a warrior goddess. Oh, she hits things with her head, like Mario. That's kind of neat. All right, I need to get out of here. I don't know how much more of this level there is. I guess I just need to keep going because I'm running out of time. And that guy's throwing arrows at me. Oh, a boss. Huh. How do I... Okay. I'm not sure how to attack this thing. Uh, that worked? Okay. Alright, whatever. Still running out of time. Okay. Whew. Man. Alright. Oh, uh, sorry. S sorry, Steven. You're getting locked out of chat, because you're the only one here. <laughs> no, this isn't Wispy Woods. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe Fridays aren't really a popular time to stream. But, you know. That's okay. I'm glad to have you here. Spiders. Always. Always spiders. Th I guess the main thing is I don't really know what I'm doing. Like... I guess I can't kill that. Um, like, I don't really know how the power-ups work. And I'm just kind of... Hey, there's a ring. I'm just kind of responding. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of like that the pits don't kill you because there's, like, an underground level. That's not, that's not bad. Like, I'm sure there's some kind of strategy that I'm missing, right? Surely I want the sword. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Oh man. Everyone else is drinking with friends. Oh. Well, you know, I'm not even drinking. I'm playing a Nintendo game on a Friday night. This is pretty much as exciting as this evening's going to get for me. Um, and I really should be writing because I didn't quite meet my deadline. I've got a story due. Um, which is another reason why I had to kind of postpone the... Um... What? That thing took a lot of damage. 
Or I took a lot of damage from that, that thing. Oh. Yeah. This is, uh... Not the smoothest uh, gaming experience I've ever had. Yes, I could switch to Battle Kid if it gets really bad. Give me the hearts. Okay. Ah. No, I have a laser. No, I don't have a laser. What even are these weapons that I have? What's going on? Oh my gosh. What? What is happening? Oh, that looks bad. Yeah, the manual had like many pages of descriptions of items and weapons and stuff, and I really didn't pay very much attention to what they all are. There's no rhyme or reason to these these weapons. I don't know. I mean, I guess I should just not collect the weapons that I don't want, right? Just like in Castlevania. But... Great. Come on. <sighs> that pit will kill me, though, right? Because that's an actual pit. Nope. It just dropped... Hey, what? Did I die and it just, like, started me over again? Yikes. Yeah. Uh, I guess I died. Okay, so I can continue, right? And then she winks in kind of a weird, awkward way. Well, at least I get to pick up from here. It was pretty startling to suddenly have no armor or anything. Yeah, I don't even know how long this game is. or uh, People say it's crappy, but I, I don't know if it's actually also, like, necessarily hard. Um... Ow. Ow. Nope. Oh, come on. That arrow should not take that much damage. Hmm. Although, probably this is going to be better than uh, next week's stream, right? But at least I'll be playing, like, three games. Or, you know, two, two games, really. Um... Because I'm just going to do the whole Back to the Future trilogy in one... Oh, crap. I'm going to do the whole Back to the Future trilogy in one stream. That that didn't that didn't look good. Um. You know, like ripping off a Band-Aid. Just all the Back to the Future games. All at once. I think I might have played maybe a minute of Back to the Future in the past, but I have never played Back to the Future 2 and 3. Um, but I've definitely seen people complain about them. And it's just a shame because those are like my f some of my favorite movies. Crap. Man. Oh, okay. Thanks, Steven. Yeah. Um, and then after Back to the Future's Bad Dudes, which I know you wanted to see me play, Steve. All right. Yeah, I don't know what else is going on. Um, so let's see. Um, this is the first, technically the first official NES game with a female protagonist, according to the internet. Um, I think it came out about a month before Metroid, and of course, a lot of people didn't know that um, Samus is, in fact, a woman until the end of the game. Sorry if that was a spoiler for you. Um, no, what? What is that, a punching glove? Alright, let's head up. Oh, what? 
that's not fair. Um, I guess there were a couple other games, like there was like a Mac Rider versus, um, and supposedly Life Force or Salamander had a woman protagonist. Um, but that was really only revealed in, say, the cutscene at the end of um, the game if you use a certain number of continues, something like that. I need to get away from those arrows. Those are terrible. This music actually is pretty hateful. I do not like this music. Can I get past this? Oh, you can kill it. I guess you have to kill the, um... You have to hit the, the webbing, maybe. Nope, didn't make it. Uh, there's probably nothing there anyway. Alright. Um, yep. Yeah. I think I might just hold on to my sword, if I can. Oh, man. Nope, can't hold on to my sword. Alright. Oh, I got stuck here before, didn't I? Can't break through that. Oh, I don't have a helmet, so I can't break through things. So... That's not good. How do I... Does that look as ridiculous to you as it does to me? I think, am I stuck? Because I can't get any farther. Nope. And then you die. And it doesn't even look like a death. So I got stuck there, because I don't see how to get past that section. Yeah, you're right. There's a game in here somewhere. It could have been good. No, I could have sworn I killed one of these before. Do I need a special weapon to do that? Can only some of them die? No, fine, whatever. So, what do I like about this so far? Um, not the music. There's a nice variety of enemies, even if I can't quite figure out what they all are supposed to be, and they're all really annoying and evil. Um, music's terrible. Um... Offhand, her character design is kind of neat. I like that you can stack up the the you can build up the armor and the weapons. Um, but yeah, basically the complaints that other people have had, like the hit detection is really bad. Um, nope, it's very glitchy. Hey, that looks like more time. Can I... Ah! I couldn't get to it. I don't even understand what's going on there. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, my game is definitely doing some weird glitching. I don't know what's going on with this. Yeah, hmm. What else do I like about this game? I need to get out of this level just to make this music stop. Please. Oh, come on. I'm going to be stuck here again. How do I get past this if I don't have a helmet? This is really bad. Ah, and I'm dead again. Yeah, I think I'm in trouble here.
And then I'm dead. Wow. Okay. Good times. Good times. Gotta be missing something. Maybe there's like... A helmet or... Something somewhere... So clunky. Slow down. Can't really say that this looks like anyone actually you know, planned out this level very well. I think they just kind of threw a bunch of stuff together. And then this thing. Which I don't know if there's any way past this. Oh, almost. Gosh, come on. Can't even hit this thing. There we go. Horse heads, and they killed me. Great. Level two, again. We'll see. World of Cavern. Great. Sorry, guys. This isn't uh, the most riveting speed ever. We're just going to keep dying the same way. I guess I could start over again. Uh, maybe I need to start over again and come back in here with armor. Or I need to find armor. Like, I guess there could be something hidden really anywhere, right? Now this is basically Dig Dug. So that's bad, right? What is that? It won't, I can't even collect it because it's too far over to the left. Okay. And what's that guy who, like, hangs out up there? Oh, he shoots the arrows, right. God, no. Oh, no. Come on. See, this jumping, that's when the jumping gets really annoying. Oh, God, the game is so slow. So what does that do? The world may never know. Okay. God, no. Oh. Yep, there's probably secret weapons and stuff. And first level, look for the small mushroom. Get on top, duck down, get the ultimate sword shield. Really? Should I restart? Um, maybe I'll just... Next time, I, I don't want to get the game out of sync. I guess maybe I'll just start over again. If I have to. And then I just have to stay alive until I get up to this point, right? Not good. Oh, come on. Who designed this game? Why does this exist? Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, 
I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to read the, the chat, so then I died. Okay, great. All right, I don't know. I don't think I can get any farther in there, right? All right, I'm going to start over from the beginning and see what happens. So you say I should duck on the first mushroom? Right, so she's a schoolgirl, and then she shows up in this world and somehow loses all of her clothes. Right? Is that how that goes? Yep, where did her dress go? I don't know. All right. It does look like Adventure Island now that now that you mention it. The first one with like the not not as polished graphics. At least this music isn't so bad. What does that do? Oh, it's this helmet. Okay. So, okay, those things that looked bad, I guess those are actually um, power-ups. So that's the first mushroom. Oh, there's a shield. All right, so I'm going to duck. Uh, am I supposed to duck down? Okay, nothing's happening here. Well, that's not really a small mushroom, I guess. All right, maybe that's not where I'm supposed to be. But I do have a helmet, and I do have a, a shield, so that's nice. Take it. Oh, you never need to apologize for laughing, Steven. I mean, this is you got to get something out of this, right? And I fully acknowledge that it's, um, you know, my playing is ter- Oh, oh, that's what that is. Okay, I did do that before, didn't I? It's the ultimate shield, and the helmet, and the thing. Okay, I'm going to try to get out of here with this. Intact. It looks like a guitar. And then it shoots lasers. So I did grab that before. I didn't know what it was. Just need to survive. Oh no, I lost my... Arr, weapon. They should not let you choose an inferior weapon. Are they all like that? No. All right, oh, gotta get going. Thing is, I'm not even sure how I beat that boss before because I just kind of took the damage and just started, ah, shield. Shield is nice. That's good. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, gosh. I am going to die pretty soon, though. That doesn't look good. I could use some hearts or something, right? Yeah, those are awkward to get into. All right. that kill me even though I had a shield okay well that's a bummer and I'm back where now now that didn't really win me anything when I get to the next level unless I can somehow get another shield and helmet or something so much for that Well, I, this is about what I expected. Although part of me was kind of hoping that things would be better than I remembered. Alright, well, she's got some clothes on, so that's good. And there's a shield. I'll take that. Yeah, I guess you really just do have to break blocks open. But you don't really have a, enough time to... Alright, okay. So if I can somehow survive until the end of this level... Nope! Oh, come on. Thank you. 
Why did I collect that again? Darn it. Okay. Oof. Oh man. Oh, is that beeping because I'm about to die? I bet I bet it is. I thought I had a sh I do have a shield. Oh, come on. Shield knocks you backwards. Gonna die again. Alright. I don't have, like, no power. And I died. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, Robert. How's it going? Yep, you haven't really missed anything. I made it to level 2, and then uh, I kind of got stuck because I... I didn't have a helmet, so I couldn't break some blocks that I need to be able to block to... At least I think that's what I need to do. Um, and so I came back, I started over again, and now I'm just trying to survive to the end with uh, enough power-ups that I can take into the next level. But, um, have you have you played this before? Because it's, it's pretty bad. I don't remember seeing that thing before. Wait, wasn't that the mushroom that I needed to power up with? Yeah, I bet that was. Yeah. Let's continue, I guess. And she does that winking thing, which is really creepy. World of Forest. Well, I, I think you should get this game, Robert, and test it out on your Retron 1HD. And if you're lucky, it won't play. Somebody should maybe like try doing a ROM hack of this game to make it good. How hard could that be? Give me that. Oh. Ugh. Okay. The way these enemies knock you back, um, yeah. Not good, not good. Maybe this game wasn't tested. So wait, I think I saw, because once uh, Steve mentioned that the, um, that this, there's like, that this character, Athena, As, As, uh, what's her name? Asumito, Asa, I don't even remember. Atsumi, Athena Atsumi, right? Is that right? Anyway, once you mentioned that, I started reading about her. And apparently, there's a sequel to this game that was made for uh, mobile devices. So I wonder if that's any good. Probably not. But uh, it's wacky that this game just spawned like a, ma a mascot for SNK. You know what game is worse than this? Atlantis no Nazo. Have you played that? Um, yeah, there we go. I've got my weird guitar thing. Um, Atlantis no Nazo. That's pretty bad. Which I think was um, adapted to the US as Super Pitfall. But I, try I was curious about Atlantis no Nazo because it was included on, on the... Um, the Famicom Mini in Japan is like some kind of classic game, but nobody, I don't think anybody really knows why it was included on this system. And I tried the game out. I actually, yeah, I think I got like a ROM for it and, and just gave it a try. And it was, um, it's really bad. Um, and yet strangely compelling. 
Ah, I finally killed that sniper. That felt satisfying. Wow, that music got really discordant, didn't it? So as bad as this music is, Robert, imagine playing it on the Retron 1 HD. That makes games sound even worse. I don't know why I'm, I'm making fun of the Retron. Um, I'm still kind of curious about it. I think I'm actually more interested in maybe the... Um, how do I get... How did I get over there before? Darn it. I killed this thing before and I couldn't, couldn't get to it. Oh, uh, you know, I need to catch up on Game Center CX. I haven't seen the Atlantis and Azazo episode yet. Yeah. Yeah, th this is very uh, Ghosts and Goblins-like here. Yeah, I need to watch some more Game Center CX. Kind of want to get that DVD set that came out. Oh, man. Oh, no. It's like the Indiana Jones boulder. What? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> well, hey, on the bright side, there's only 20 minutes left in the stream. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So the RES Plus, which is, I guess, the retro bit um, HD system looks kind of interesting. And then there's like the Super Retro Trio. Um, like mostly I've been kind of looking at some of the HD systems. Like I'd like an HD NES, but I don't want to spend a ton of money on it. Like, I don't want to buy... Uh, obviously, I'm, I can't buy the analog NT Mini. So that's for sure. Um, I'm still sort of on the fence on the, ret on the retro USB AVS. I think I would like it, but it's still a lot of money. And I'm not entirely sure how, how much I'd be using it. Because right now, like, if I want to game on my HD TV, I've just been using the, the Retron 5, which is, you know, it's okay. But the save states have been really handy. Um, I can't argue about that. I would definitely not be gaming as much if I couldn't do save states. Um, but, you know, so like a $40 system sounds pretty good, but then I also want it to actually be decent. So that's just me being picky. I also still want to get that um, Hyperkin Cadet Controller. I want to give it a try. I've been seeing some really great reviews of it, including yours, um, Robert. But I sort of want the black one, because then I think that would kind of match my Retron 5. Um, but yeah, the Retro USB AVS. Maybe. I actually got some birthday money, which I could use towards that system. But... You know, and then there's also the possibility that if I just wait, you know, somebody will come along with some really great solution at some point. So there's not really any rush, I guess. I actually haven't been enjoying playing NES on my uh, CRT down here. Um, so the solution is probably just to get a whole bunch of CRTs to keep on hand. So how did I get over there before without getting hit by those... Aha! Like that. And then you just kind of hit hit this thing as much as you can before it kills you. Except it killed, killed me. Darn it. Yeah, I should just keep it uh, old school as long as I can. I agree, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. Yeah, that was a cheap shot. Yeah, I know. The Retron HE is not terrible. I do like the um, CRT look of it, or the um, composite look of it on the HD TV. It's just, I wish it had better compatibility um, with some games. Like, the fact that you can't play Battletoads on it's kind of bad, although I do tend to skip level 2 anyway. Um, so, I'm not, I'm not entirely ruling it out. 
the, the, the problem is I think that the, the RES Plus might be a better system, at least so far from what I've seen. It'd be interesting to see if it can run multi-carts. I mean, um, the EverDrive, but, which I don't have anyway, but I'm still curious. But um, the RES Plus, I'm, oh, there we go. The RES Plus, um, or the Retron HD looks looks nicer than the RES Plus. Like I do like the the NES look of it. So I'm still kind of tempted anyway. And it's only 40 bucks. So I don't know. And then maybe that's just all I need really, you know. If you can even find it like in stock anywhere, of course. That's the other issue. But, you know, I keep looking up reviews of the system while I think about it. That one looks kind of like a walking pickle monster. Ow. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. All right. How do I get to this thing without dying? How did I do that before? I think I just kind of like pushed my way through and just happened to be able to kill it right away. Yeah. Oh, you use it more than the NS Classic, really? That's interesting. You know... So I have an NES Classic, and I actually did mod it, and it has like 300-something games on there because I loaded up um, like all my favorite NES games, most of which I own. And then I loaded a bunch of um, Famicom games on there that you know I want to be able to play uh, that I don't have and um, you know some translations and things like that. And yeah, I don't, I don't use it that often. Um, I, use, I mostly want to just play on my carts, and I feel like if I... I want to play a game, I'm going to pull out the cart, I'm going to use the cart, and then I'm going to commit to playing that game, as opposed to just like, oh, well, I'll switch to this other game. Like, I think having too many games on hand at once, like all those ROMs just kind of makes me not want to play any anything all the way through. Um, so, like, upstairs right now I have, um, with the Retron 5, I have Ninja Gaiden 3, which is what I'm trying to complete right now. And I have um, Adventure Island, which I have been trying to kind of off and on been playing since I streamed it for this um, series. Um, and I think I have uh, Star Tropics 2 up there because I'm trying to finish my save game from like 20 years ago. And that's it. Those are the three games that I'm playing the most right now. And they're up there and, you know, I have access to all the ROMs that I want and everything, but I just want to play it on a cartridge. And even though it's emulation having the cartridge in the system just feels more, I don't know, more of a commitment to me. So, so I hear that. And now of course I'm like, I should save the NES classic cause they're not making them anymore. It's kind of nice when you have a party though, and you just want to have a bunch of games for people to play and you can switch around to different things. But also, um, so I don't think there's any more lag on the NES Classic than there is on the Retron 5 on my TV. Um, and I don't think there's much at all, because I wouldn't be able to have finished uh, Ghosts and Goblins if there were. But, um, come on. Oh, I, I, believe, I beat that thing before, and I can't do it again. Um, but so I, we went on vacation, like, last month, and I brought the NES Classic with me thinking that I would play uh, some games on it. And the hotel TV had really horrendous lag, even on game mode. I couldn't I couldn't even get past like level one of Ninja Gaiden 3. Um, and I just thought maybe I was just really tired, but no, I just couldn't, it was unplayable. It was really unplayable. So it's so hard to know, like whenever I have to upgrade my HD TV or like replace it, I have to do a lot of research to figure out what the best TV is like what has the least amount of lag. Um, you know, or I could just get a, a large CRT and put it someplace. Um, 
Like this one that I have here is a uh, nine inch, which is kind of great. I just have it down in the basement and I can play for a little bit on here. And it's not, it's portable and doesn't take up a lot of s space. And, um, you know, I don't really have very good like scan lines or anything on it, but it gets the job done. So I guess the, the armor must help her, um, must help increase the damage you can take, which makes sense, of course. But this game is really difficult without any sort of power-ups. Right, let's see if I can get to the end here. Just breezing through, not even trying to get any secrets. I want to see somebody speed run this game. Uh, it's probably not that hard. Stop! Oh my gosh, come on. Okay. Yeah, let me catch up on here. RES Plus. Yeah, the controller looks bad on the RES Plus. I would probably just use my, um, my Nintendo controllers. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 3. So the, the save states on Ninja Gaiden 3, I've been able to get past, um, I'm up to like stage 6, I think, which is farther than I've ever made it in that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try to beat that game. You know. And then there's all these other games that I need to beat. I want to finish, um, I still haven't finished Mega Man 9 because I keep taking time off from that. So I want to get back to that. And, um... I kind of want to go... I have some other games, like maybe some more... Come on. No, 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 I'm not good. How do I get over there? I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there without taking damage. Uh, the Vizio M series. Okay. 18 milliseconds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I downloaded this... Um, ROM file, um, somebody had made like the, the um, 240p test suite. I don't know if you've, you've tried that, but it lets you measure um, input lag and stuff like that. But I'm not entirely sure that I'm using it correctly because I can't, I can't test it on my CRT because I don't have it on a cartridge. I can, I can run it as a ROM. I have it on, a, on my NES Classic as a, as a ROM and on the Retron. And those, those both are showing like a 40 millisecond delay. Um, which seems like a lot, but uh, clearly it's not really impeding my ability to play on the system. Um, but uh, I'd love to see what the delay is on my CRT, because of course I feel like I have a mil you know a certain amount of delay just because I'm I'm old. Um, but um... oh crap! No, I'm about to die. Great. I don't even know if there's any point in continuing at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to get past level 1 again, guys. I made it to 2 for a little bit, but... And then I died. Huh. Interesting. Okay, thanks, Steve. Yeah, 40 milliseconds doesn't seem too bad. Um, I should have measured... I don't think... I don't know why I didn't try it. I should have measured the lag on that on that hotel room TV, because it was... It was bad. I can't even really use, um, I know a lot of people use punch out as their metric, but I never really got good enough at punch out to to really even get to the end and beat it. So that's another one on my, on my bucket list. Um, for me, I usually just test with, you know, Mega Man game, you know, can I, can I jump on these platforms? Like, is the timing working out? Um, So, yep, anyway, no hurry, definitely no hurry on any of that stuff, but, you know, you see cool stuff coming out, you kind of want it, 
Even if you don't really need it. So what games have you been playing, um, Robert? And did you have did you have an NES or anything before you got the NES Classic? I really just wish they'd made they that hadn't been such a difficult thing to get for people. I've got so many friends who wanted one, and you know they never ended up getting one. And even the two, I have two. Well, I have one, and then I gave one to my mom for Christmas, and uh, turns out she's not playing it, um, so I'm like, maybe you should give that back to me. I saw on one of the Reddit forums that somebody actually traded their NES Classic for the original Analog NT. I'm like, wow. That's a heck of a trade. Okay, let's see. Can I get over here? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Okay, great. Woo! That, that wasn't even, uh, that was just luck. I don't know. There's not really a good way to kill that thing. Oh, let's see. Grinding on Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. All right, back to level two. See if I can get past that section that I was at. Yeah, I want to, you know, since I saw um, Super Mario Odyssey, I kind of want to go back and play Mario Galaxy 2, which I... I got it um, years ago, around when it came out. Oops, when it came out uh, for my birthday, and then I had to move. And I was in a tiny apartment, and I didn't really have a good TV, and I didn't really have time to play. And then I just never went back to it. So I played through maybe three levels, and that was it. But I loved Super Mario Galaxy a lot, and so I kind of want to go back to play that. And um, I've got a bunch of games I'm in the middle of. I'm still playing Ocarina of Time, kind of, except lately. Like, I have maybe half an hour to play during the week if I'm not doing the stream. So that's not really conducive to making much progress in a complicated game like that. So it's just easier to bring, you know, fire up a Ninja Gaiden 3 and oh, come on. Um, I sort of had started playing The Last of Us a long time ago and never went back to it. And I just got, uh, for my birthday, I also got, in addition to, to Battle Kid, I got um, Nino Kuni, which is the level 5 Ghibli game that for the PS3, which I've been wanting to play for a while. But that's, like, that's an RPG. That's going to take me forever if I... Um, make it, make it any, you know, even try to, try to beat it with any serious intent. So, all right, let's see if I can get through this section now that I have a helmet that I can use to break things. Oh my gosh, come on, guys. This music is terrible. Make it stop. I guess I could mute it. Ah, okay. That's what I needed to do. That's what I couldn't do before because I got stuck. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, I know you're laughing now, Steven, right? That was bad. That was bad. That, that was bad. Oh, man. That is probably the... Uh, the moment I should end this game on because that was really bad. I finally made it past that section and then I fell down and died. Okay, Athena, great, good, good times, good times. Uh, let's see if I missed any comments here. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. Watch out. Oh, Robert, so the Retron 5, the NES slot on your Retron 5 broke. Um, if you want to keep using the system, the same thing happened to me after like after like two years because that was like the only slot I was really using. Um, and so I thought I was going to just have to junk it and buy something else. And then I, um, I realized that I could use the Famicom slot, so I got an adapter for it. Did I ever tell you? Did I already tell you all this on, on YouTube? I forget. Um, so I got an adapter for the um, NES slot. 
and uh, it's like the NES to Famicom adapter, so you need a 72-pin to 60-pin connector. And the one that I got is the Cyber Gadget Retro Freak one. It's the one that's supposed to come with the Retro Freak. It's like 20 bucks from Amazon Japan. You just create an account on Amazon Japan, um, use the translation uh, things in Google and on the website. It was like 20 bucks with shipping. Like f- f- It was like free shipping. Um, and it, it took and it shipped pretty quickly. And it's like the best, uh, I think, Famicom to NES um, adapter that they made because um, some of the older ones, some of the other ones don't play Castlevania 3 or some of the other games very well. And the thing with the Retron 5 is I had one of the older ones. And if it's plugged into the system, the Retron 5 looks at it as a as a cart that it can't read. But the Retro Freak one, the Cyber Gadget one, it just treats as like a pass-through device. It doesn't see it unless you have a cartridge in there. So now I just have that thing living in my Retron 5 like all the time. I made a little um, cover for it so the dust doesn't get into the slots. And um, and I just I can keep using it for the NES. So uh, I'd highly recommend that. If you want, I can send you the link for it um, on Amazon. Um, because it's been hard, it was kind of hard to find it on the on their website for some reason. And if you want to see a review of it, just Google um, Cyber Gadget Famicom Adapter or something like that. And this woman, I forget her name, but she has a YouTube channel where she does like game reviews and some and some streaming. And uh, she did a great review of it, um, like plugged into her, her twin Famicom. And so that's how I found out about it. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I've been recommending that to everyone. Uh, yeah, and and I had this other problem with the Retro 5 where after the NES slot died, some of the pins were touching and it shorted out the entire board. So I couldn't play any other games. And then I contacted Hyperkin. I was like, I was out of warranty and they said they would replace it for like half the cost of retail, which is still $80. And I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to send it back and get some other unit and have to do all the updates to the firmware and all that stuff. And then I f- figured out how to straighten the pins. I just stuck something in there to straighten all the pins, and that fixed the other problem. And then, you know, I've just been using the Famicom um, pass-through device. So yeah, I'll send you the, I'll send you the link. Uh, I'll DM it to you on uh, Twitter, um, so you can find it. Um, it's it was really it's really great great device. Um, you know, it sticks out of the Retron Five, but it it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look as bad as I just got for my birthday. I got the um, I got a lot of gaming stuff for my birthday. Um, I got the Mega Drive adapter for the Retron 5 um, for the Game Gear and Master System stuff. And um, that thing is ridiculous looking when you plug it in in the back. Um, but I don't, I'm not going to leave that thing plugged in all the time. So anyway, well, I'm glad we had this conversation. Um, yeah, you know, Retron 5, um, I, I use it a lot. So anyway, um, that was Athena. Thanks, guys. It was good to see you, Steve and Robert. Thank you for coming in. Anybody who watches this later on, feel free to like. Or Honestly, there's nothing to like here. The game was terrible. My playing was terrible. Um, you know, I still had fun with it. Um, next week, I will be playing Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2 and 3, which are LJN games based on one of my favorite movie trilogies. Um, it's going to be terrible. I remember playing like a couple minutes of Back to the Future and it was not good. Um, so that's going to be another one where you just kind of want to watch me suffer through a game for the first time. And that's totally fine. I'm happy to I'm happy to serve that, that need. Um, oh, thanks, Robert. And uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, I will catch you guys next week, probably on Wednesday, unless something comes up. I don't, I don't remember what my schedule is but i think it'll probably be wednesday again which clearly gets a few, a few more people in the uh in the stream so yeah back to the future that's gonna be fun all right well anyway i hope you guys have a good weekend if i have time this weekend i might try streaming randomly i want to play some battle kid since i just got that so i don't know um i'll uh i'll post on twitter and you can if you're subscribing then you'll know when i start start playing um, but we'll see how it goes because I, I have to finish a, writing a story this weekend. All right. Have a good night. Bye, guys. <laughs>